Here's where you can find Zarya's creations on social media. Hey y'all, hey, welcome back to my channel. And today I am going to share with you guys a product that um, was sent to me from the company Parku. They asked me to do a review on their pens and so I um, so gladly accept it. Unfortunately guys, I don't have a pack to give away. They only sent me this one pack. They also do have some erasable pens and some other pens in their line. So if you're interested, you definitely want to check them out. I will leave a link in the description bar down below to where you can purchase your very own. So I like color. I really do. I like color. But I am so used to, because my fingers are so long, I'm so used to long pins, big pins like this, and like this for my fingers. But we are going to see how this goes and how it writes. Um, so again, the company is Parku, and up here they say it dries three times faster to reduce smearing. There's 14 gel pins in here with a fine point, and it is 0 0.7 millimeters. On the back, it just tells you the type of material it is. I do not know what ABS is. The tip is a bullet tip, and it tells you the size and the writing length, which I don't get, as well as the small parts are not included, included or not for suitable for three-year-olds. And then they have their website, and I believe you can also get these on Amazon, so I'll leave a link for a quick purchase. All right, so we have 14 colors, and let's see how this goes. I am going to grab a piece of paper out of my notebook. I'll just grab any sheet. My notebook is falling apart because it is getting lots of work. And I will open it up, and I haven't used these yet. So this will be the first. Time. And I'm glad I actually have the video so I can. Um, oh, and it has a little red bolly on the top. So I guess you just pop that off. Yep. A little red ball on the top. And I'm just going to write out the colors. So this is yellow. It's hard to see. I'm just going to make a little dot here. And that's an easy push pin. It feels pretty nice to hold. I like pins that are thick. I actually thought it was thinner in the packet. So, oops. And let's see. So I just rubbed my finger across it. There is no ink on my finger. All right, so let's go. Let's do them all because yellow is light. I guess that is to protect the ink inside of the pen as well as let you know that it hasn't been used. Orange, nothing. All right, red, let's see. Red is my favorite color. And I'm doing this in real time, guys. So the red had a, oh, actually the orange had a little smear, not even, hardly noticeable. Now it does bleed through a little bit under it. Just for where I did the dots, and that could have been because I applied pressure, but not the wording. So it could have been just because I applied pressure when I did my circular rotation. Thank you for getting these. Yeah, so make sure you take these off because, see, I would be the one that would be like, this one's on good. I need to send this back because it, the pins don't work when oh, that one was on super good.
Oh, I like that pink. All right, so maybe I'll try not to press so hard. But nothing's coming up on my fingers. Um, what is this, like a plum? Here I go again. Or is it like a maroon? Okay, we have purple. Y'all, why didn't y'all tell me to take the cap off? That is pretty too. Then we get into our blues. And this is like a turquoise. I did it again. What I should have did was taken all the caps off. And then came back and did all of these. Because I can't seem to get it together. This one is, and the names aren't on here. So I'm just gonna say this is blue. And then there's another blue that looks more navy. All right, so let's give these a try. So where did I stop? I must have stopped at the maroon. Okay, nothing. Nothing for the purple. Nothing for the turquoise. No smearing. And no smearing for the navy. All right, so those um actually were, after I wrote, I waited a few seconds before. I, a few of them was probably like a minute or so. And then I waited for a few seconds before. I'm gonna call this one lime green. And then we'll just call this one green. So I do like how thick it is. I like how it writes. For a gel pen. I'm normally not a gel pen girl, but I actually do like this. I like these pens. And the other thing that I want to test is because I like to write with a highlighter. When I'm writing, I like to highlight things from taking notes for different um, webinars and seminars. Is how the smearing does works with a highlighter. Now, most of the time I use a mild liner. Get all these little dots. Let me stop there. Okay and no smearing. All right, so it just takes a second to leave it alone. So let's do, let me write a word out here. Smear factor. Because I want to use my highlighter. Actually, I'm gonna write it twice. Because one, I'll use a regular highlighter, and then another, I will use a mouth, a mouth liner. And the kids are back outside. I'm trying to put this back in the case. Okay, let's look for the mouth liners. All right, so I'm going to use yellow, regular highlighter, and a mouth liner. So let's do the 
my outline up first and see how does that no smear that's for the mouth let's see how the regular highlighter goes Just a tad bit of, there is some smearing with the regular and it's actually on the tip of my marker. There is some smearing with the regular highlighter. I don't often use a highlighter. I use the mild liners, um, which did not present with any smearing. So there you have that. Now let's use, now these are the type of pens that I generally use so what is this called a pinto alright so it doesn't smear alright and then here is a decorative pin that I got from American Eagle So let's do a smear test. And that one did smear. And it smeared with the mild liner. As well as the highlighter. So. And that was my pretty bin. That was the pretty bin. So. These pens actually hold up very well. Um, and then using the black, it barely um, barely smeared with the highlighter chisel tip. Just a little smearing, but with the mild liner, it did not. So I definitely um, like it and will use it with the mild liner when I'm taking my notes. I like these colors because when I'm writing different things and different points, I actually do like to colorize and I know it's weird and it takes up a lot of time, but I may write one point in one color and then do the sub points in another color that fall under it. So I do like doing that. So I do like these pens for that. I think they will definitely be perfect and I'll definitely be using them. I hope I can keep them in the case because I do tend to um use pins everywhere and I take them out. So if you guys are interested in getting your set, just check the link down below where you'll be able to do a purchase right from that link. Let me know what you think. If you guys use any of the Parku products, let me know what you think about their products down below. If you like them, if you don't like them, which product that you actually use, because I may be interested in getting more, especially the ones that are erasable. Thanks so much, guys, for watching. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe button down below to be the first to know when there's a new video posted to this channel. See ya! Before you leave my channel, check out this video right here and then head over to all my social media and make sure you're following.